Good evening and welcome to Clinton's College Fall Virtual Open House. We are so excited that you are joining us. We know you could have several places that you could spend your time, but we're so grateful that you're choosing to spend your time with us at Clinton College. We have a wonderful, informative evening planned for you tonight. Um, like I always say, you know, People don't plan to fail, they fail to plan. And to all of our seniors out there, we want to make sure that you absolutely have a plan for after you graduate. So if you just took a minute right now, I bet I know you know when you're gonna graduate, probably down to the date and the time. But what are you gonna do right after graduation, the day after you graduate? Just stop and think about it. Where are you going to go? What is your day gonna be like? Well, these over this next 60 minutes or so, we're hoping to convince you that where you should be going is Clinton College. That's where we can help you grow as a person, develop uh, into that wonderful trailblazer, into that person that will leave a footprint no matter where you go and no matter what field you choose to make your mark on. We hope that after this presentation, you will choose to spend and plan your time at Clinton College. So without further ado, what I wanna do is introduce our wonderful staff who are absolutely committed to your success. And we'll start off with our Vice President of Academic Affairs, Dr. Alvin McLam. There's Dr. McLam. We also have Mr. Cedric Singletary, Director of Admissions. All right. We have Ms. Bevelyn Hicks, who is the director of our counseling program, as yes, with Dix. We have Dr. Tony McNeil, director of our music department. There he is. We also have Ms. Pamela White, director of our financial aid department. There's Ms. White. And we have Angela Duckett, director of our TRIO program and a member of academic support services. We also have Dr. Glenda Brown with us this evening. She is the director of our global program, our online program. And of course, last but not least, our fearless leader, our extra special guest, and that is our president, Dr. Lester McCorn. There he is. And so uh, what I want to do is, again, what you'll be uh, hearing uh, and seeing tonight, you'll be learning about Clinton College. Each department is represented uh, here on this panel. Uh, make sure that if you have questions, you chat them in the box as we go along. After each presentation, I'll stop for a moment and I'll check the chat box and see if we have any questions. And of course, we'll still leave uh, time for questions at the very end. There's also, also information, if you look down at the bottom of our ticker, there's some information scrolling across for you as well right there, okay? So, and like we always say at Clinton, the only person missing is you. So sit back, uh, get your notebook. Uh, we wanna also say hello to any parents, grandparents, aunts, uncles, guardians that may be watching uh, with students. We welcome you as well. We're going to start off tonight with a greeting from our president who has taken time out of his busy schedule to be with us. And he'll share with you what we're doing at Clinton, some of the future plans and what our academic uh, situation looks like as opposed to uh, learning remote, as opposed to being on campus. Uh, he's going to bring you up to speed on that and kind of give a greeting to, to you all that are watching, all of our viewers are watching this evening. So uh, Dr. McCorn, I will say, is a, a leader in our industry of presidents, and we're so proud to call him the president of Clinton College. All right, and here he is, Dr. Lester A. McCorn. Thank you, Dr. Brown, and welcome to all of you who have joined us. Uh, welcome to Clinton College, where we strive for excellence without excuse. We're excited about all the wonderful things that are happening at our college, even in difficult times. Uh, right now, you're sitting in the midst of a situation that you never thought would happen, a global pandemic. And our worlds have literally been turned upside down. I'm very proud, however, to say that Clinton College has pushed ahead and have, we, have, we have worked hard to establish a college that would meet your needs. Tonight, you will find out all of the wonderful things that have happened in the last few months 
that are positioning us for greatness. Uh, and the way that we can achieve that is by having you as a part of our community. Clinton College has been around since 1894, 126 years. So that lets you know uh, that there's a strong foundation upon which we are built. We're built on four pillars, namely there are scholarship, certain leadership, spirituality, and social change. Those are our core values. And we believe that's what makes us unique and solidifies our identity as an emerging historically black college and university in these United States. Tonight, you'll meet some of our outstanding team. Uh, we have a great team of people who are diligent, devoted, gifted, and talented, and love what they do. And we hope that you will feel that. Dr. Brown alluded to uh, the changes we've made in our academic services. Uh, because of COVID-19, uh, we made a very difficult but necessary decision to hold our campus virtually. Uh, so our students, although we regret that we can't put our arms around them physically, we have virtually touched all of our students who have come back to engage in this new environment. We have two online programs that you'll hear about today. Uh, one, meet the needs of all of our traditional students who would have normally been on campus. And another one is reaching out to a new target of students who might be adult learners, those who have a little bit of education who are coming back uh, to higher education and everybody in between. So you hear about that tonight. Uh, we're situated in the city of Rock Hill, South Carolina. You may not have heard about Rock Hill, but you will soon. It is one of the emerging cities in the uh, metropolitan Charlotte area, just about 25 minutes south of downtown Charlotte, which affords you a lot of opportunities. And we are the future home of the headquarters of the NFL's Carolina Panthers. We're building a wonderful complex not far from our, from our campus. And there will be many opportunities for partnership and hopefully employment for our Clinton College Golden Bears. You hear about our arts program and music. You'll hear about athletics with our champion teams. You'll hear about all kinds of wonderful things that are happening. And we hope that you will be impressed and enticed to come and be a part. Uh, if you are not uh, right now in the market for education, but you have somebody in your family who is, please pass the word to them and invite them to check us out. I, once again, thank you for being a part of this special uh, time of discussion and open house, and we look forward to engaging you in the near future. Back to you, Dr. Brown. I hope you guys didn't miss that four pillar scholarship, spirituality, servant leadership, and social change. We have you covered. We have you covered not just as a student, but we want to develop you as a person. Okay, let's keep this thing moving. Next, we're going to hear from the director of our admissions department, Mr. Cedric Singletary. Thank you, Dr. Brown. Thank you for having me uh, here this evening. We are excited to share with you our fall virtual open house of, for Clinton College. And so in true Clinton College form, we cannot talk about our academic programs and resources without showing you our beautiful campus. So in just a little bit, we have a video that we would love to share with you so you can see the beautiful campus of Clinton College. A little information about Clinton College to make sure that every student has an opportunity to receive a four-year education, if that's their choice. Clinton College has waived our SAT and our ACT score requirements. That's right, we are not requiring an SAT or an ACT score for acceptance or enrollment. We've also waived our minimum GPA requirement. So regardless of how you may be uh, currently positioned in your high school, Clinton College is opening our doors to support you. So after you listen to the information tonight, you will have an opportunity to complete your online, uh, pro online application into one of our two programs that we'll talk about a little later on. So before we go any further, please take an opportunity to look at our beautiful campus as we begin this video.
I just cannot get enough of watching that video and seeing the interaction uh, with our students and our faculty and staff. And so without further ado, the purpose that we're all here tonight is to hear about our programs. So allow me to introduce Dr. Alvin McLam. He is our Dean of Academics, and he will talk to you a little bit about some of our academic programs. Dr. McLam. Thank you, Mr. Singletary, and good evening to everyone. My name is Alvin McLam, and I am the Vice President for Academic Affairs and the Academic Dean here at Clinton. Uh, through a select group of professionals, professional staff, and professional faculty, we are here to make sure that you are successful on your academic journey. We are here to help you create a memorable experience uh, as you are attempting to reach your goal and make sure that you earn a degree in whatever area that you're seeking for. We do offer a number of uh, degree programs here. We have actually three bachelor's degree programs. Uh, they are Bachelor of Science in Business Administration, Bachelor of Science in Biology, Bachelor of Arts in Religious Studies. Also, we have five associate degree programs. Uh, we have an associate of science in business administration, natural science, and also we have an associate of arts in religious studies, uh, early childhood development, and also in liberal arts. Uh, and from our different programs, we also, this year for the first time, we're going to be offering certificate programs where you're able to take uh, anywhere from 12 to maybe 18 hours and actually receive a certificate uh, in a specialized area, whether it would be religious studies or whether it would be uh, business or whatever area uh, that uh, you would be interested in. Uh, we are working on several certificate programs. Uh, COVID-19, as you heard from our president, actually created some challenges for us, but we were actually able to overcome those challenges by offering or, or a new learning management platform called uh, Brightspace. Brightspace is a very robust uh, program. Uh, it's able to do things like track your attendance. Uh, you can have live uh, feeds with your faculty, uh, which is what we call the synchronous learning. Or we, you can also listen uh, virtually, uh, which is called asynchronous. And so this program has really enabled us to transition from on ground uh, to an online program and really not miss a beat. It's been very effective. Uh, it's uh, the students have been able to adapt uh, very well. The faculty have been able to adapt to this program. And also within this program, there is, an, there is another tool that we purchased and it's called Cengade. Cengade has access to literally thousands of books and other material that you can use uh, to help you and uh, to make you uh, successful in your uh, journey as far as earning your degree. Uh, Brightspace and Cengage, these two programs together has made it possible for us to offer a very robust and a very good uh, program, learning management program that you're actually able to do from your living room or from wherever you are. So we're very excited about that. We're very excited to have you all to be with us tonight. We thank you for coming. Just thank you for taking your time and uh, just being a part of of uh, this program on this evening. So with that, I will turn it back over to Dr. Brown. All those wonderful majors that we have, associates and bachelors, I mean, you have a real choice here. I wanna uh, remind you guys, if you have some questions, go ahead and drop those in the chat, okay? Go ahead and drop your questions in the chat. After each presenter that you hear, I'll pause for a moment and I'll just check the chat box and see if we have any questions, okay? All right. All right, thank you so much, Dr. McLam. Now, next we will hear from Dr. Tony McNeil. Dr. McNeil is the director of our wonderful music department. Good evening, future Golden Bears. My name is Dr. Tony McNeil. I serve as the department chair of music at Clinton College. I'm very happy to be here 
um, to speak with you tonight briefly about our emerging Department of Music. I'm just beginning my second year at Clinton and have enjoyed the journey of my first year and looking forward to more growth in the Department of Music. Uh, one of the areas that I supervise is the college choir. Uh, and that's made up of uh, singers, um, students, and we even have some faculty and staff members who sing with us occasionally um, to represent our campus. And the college choir currently is the main performing ensemble on campus, but we're looking to add um, more opportunities for performance through instrumental music. Um, we have a, a, a drum line and we're hoping to begin um, a pep band and other uh, opportunities for instrumental instrumentalists who play band or orchestra instruments. We also want those of you who dance, who uh, do drama, uh, spoken word, any form of the performing arts to, um, to feel free to offer your gifts to the music department and to our, our campus in general. Um, one of the things I do want to mention uh, tonight is the, the fact that we hold auditions, especially for choir, and we'll also hold auditions for instrumentalists as well. And those auditions are scholarship bearing for students who show um, significant promise. Um, and we accept students at all ability levels. Um, the one thing that I ask that you um, possess outside of uh, you know any uh, natural given talent you may have is the passion and the commitment to want to strive for excellence. And uh, we uh, do auditions throughout the year, uh, mainly during that first week of, of, of classes is when we do the um, uh, more of our auditions. But I am open to schedule a one-on-one -on -one virtual audition with you on your instrument or in your particular voice. If you would just reach out to me at the email address and or telephone number that you see scrolling at the bottom of, of the screen, I'd be happy to schedule a virtual audition for you. The other thing that I, um, one of the other things that I help coordinate is our Beacon Forum series. And our Beacon Forum series is a weekly a, a general assembly of our campus where all of our students and faculty and staff come together uh, for information and inspiration. We've been blessed to hear some wonderful speakers during our virtual Beacon Forum series this, um, this semester. And the Beacon Forum is also a place for you, uh, the student body to showcase their gifts. So even if you're not in the choir or in our instrumental ensembles and you dance or do uh, anything in the artist artistic realm, that could be a platform for you to showcase your gifts. Um, and so we do that once a week when we're on campus, but virtually we've been doing it every other week. So if you want to check out our, our Beacon Forum, we're going to have one tomorrow at 11 a.m. And I invite you to, to join us for that. You can find us on Facebook or YouTube tomorrow at 11 a.m. Uh, we'll be focusing on social justice and the church. It should be a very good broadcast. So thank you for your interest. I hope you will make Clinton College your choice to further your education. And uh, I hope that you will be consider becoming a part of our growing music department. Thank you so much for your time and attention. And I'm gonna send it back to Dr. Brown. Thank you so much, Dr. McNeil. I hope you guys heard Dr. McNeil's passion. I hope you heard it. So he was making appeal to all of those future Aretha Franklins out there, yeah. all those future musicians, all those future Kenny G's out there. I love my music. So we are hopeful again, that you will look at Clinton as a place to continue that passion. Mm -hmm. Dr. McNeil can help you take it to the next level. One thing Dr. McNeil, I always like to say, Clinton is small enough where we know your name, but we're big enough to allow you to spread your wings and fly. And that's exactly what you would do in this particular space.
Also, if I could, we do have uh, activities director. She's not with us this evening, but right in line with what Dr. McNeil was saying as he talked about the choir and the Beacon Forum, those are all opportunities for our students to shine. We also have events throughout the year that really are geared towards you. We are absolutely student-centered in every avenue. Every decision that we make is student-centered. And so when we talk about the music department, Beacon Forum, and student activities, those are things where we want to showcase our students. So again, drop your comments, your hellos, even if you wanna give us a shout out, give Dr. McNeil a shout out for uh, what he's done this evening. You can shout us out in the chat. I see some Facebooks here. Oh, there's Mr. Williams, he's giving us a shout out. Yes, our family, our Clinton family is giving us some shout outs. So we appreciate it. Thank y'all so much for the love. All right, well, let's keep it moving. I don't see right now any chats. I know I know y'all have some questions at the end. I know they're gonna come. So thank you again, Dr. McNeil. Next up, we will have one of our very favorites and you're gonna find out she's gonna be one of your favorites too because that spirit just shines right through every single time. And I'm hoping she's gonna give us one of her special hellos and she knows exactly what I'm talking about. And that is Miss Angela Duckett. She's the director of our trio services. And she's also a part of our academic support service team. So I'm going to ask Miss Duckett. Yes, yeah, she knows I'm putting her on the spot to give us that hello that we only can give. Turning it over to you, Miss Duckett. <laughs> Thank you, Dr. Brown. Hello and welcome to Clinton College. As Dr. Brown mentioned, I am Angela Duckett, Director of Student Support Services, which is also known as TRIO. Student Support Services is a program um, under our Beacon Academic Success Center. Uh, TRIO is a federally funded grant program that offers services to our participants. Some of the services that we offer are tutoring, academic consultations, we do cultural enrichment activities, uh, we offer scholarship opportunities, and we offer financial aid assistance, as well as we also have a wonder wonderful mentoring program called the Walk With Me Mentoring Program. I bet you're wondering what you need to do to be eligible for our TRIO program. So there are three criteria, three categories, I shall say, that you have to fall in to be eligible for TRIO. One of those categories is uh, you have to be a first generation college student, meaning that neither parent or guardian has received a bachelor's degree, fall into a certain income bracket, or have a documented learning disability. Now, if you fall into any of those categories, guess what? You are eligible for TRIO. It's exciting. I get excited about it all the time. <laughs> but let's just say you do not fall into any of those categories. You don't have to worry because we have the Beacon Academic Success Center and it offers some of the same services as TRIO. So Clinton College has you covered either way. Thank you so much for joining us this evening. I look forward to meeting you all virtually and soon on our campus. Thank you again. Back to you, Dr. Brown. That, that energy did not come through your screen and just grab you guys. I know right now you all are probably on another computer trying to figure out how do you apply. I know you are. We're gonna get to we're gonna get to that. But I know you cannot tell me you don't feel that excitement. And here's the thing, guys, it's genuine, it's for real. This is the kind of passion that we bring to work every day. We are absolutely committed to your success. I hope you can see that. Thank you so much, Ms. Duckett for sharing that information about TRIO. And I will tell you, that makes a big difference. Our TRIO and the academic support services, they make a big difference in our students' lives. Okay, let's keep it going. Next, we're going to hear from our Director of Counseling, Ms. Bevelyn Hicks. Thank you, Dr. Brown, for such an awesome introduction. 
Good evening and welcome to our open house virtual. We are so excited to have each and every one of you. I am Beverly Hicks and I am the Director of Counseling and Support Services. We are available to assist all students with their personal, emotional, and psychological concerns. We are available for all services. Some of the services that we provide are individual and group therapy, stress management, assessment, and we provide an array of services with support groups for all students. So we are excited to have each and every one of you join us. We provide a safe and confidential space for all students. Thank you so much for joining us today. And we are so excited to have you. Back to Dr. Brown. If anybody has any questions, if you've thought of any questions, either for Ms. Hicks or even even Miss Duckett, uh, not, not yet, all right? Listen, I wanna, again, what I hope you guys are noticing, even again, thank you, Miss Hicks, you could just see the energy just exuding. One thing about Miss Hicks, she's not gonna let you be down. If you're down, you better get ready to get, get, to get back up because she is gonna make sure you are in the right space to excel, not just in academics, but also you heard her touch on it just developing as a person. College is a place where you get to develop as a person. And Ms. Hicks provides wonderful support to do that, not just through her individual and one-on-one -on -one sessions, but her group sessions, how she brings everyone together in terms of problem solving and um, just uh, conflict resolution, things like that. Um, she also is really good with helping you get services outside of the campus. If you need specific services, Ms. Hicks will do that. She does, she goes above and beyond as all of our faculty and staff, as you will see, go above and beyond uh, what you're at, what you need to excel, okay? Mm -hmm. uh, so let's keep it moving here. What I wanna do now is we actually, and Dr. Uh, McCorn, our president mentioned it, and also Dr. McLam mentioned it, guys. We're, we are growing, we're continuing to grow here at Clinton College. And one of those biggest things that we did to show our growth is we now have what we call a global program, our online program. That means you don't have to be in this city of uh, Rock Hill to come to Clinton or even in the state of South Carolina to attend Clinton. You could be anywhere, anywhere in the world and attend classes and be a part of our Clinton family. And this is done through our global online program. Remember, Mr. Singletary talked about it being the school of opportunity. And that remain, means removing all barriers. And that includes geographical barriers. And so what we want to do now is we're going to turn it over to Dr. Glenda Brown, and she'll talk to you about our global online program. Thank you so much, Dr. Brown. Tonight, I am appealing, I'm reaching out to those individuals that are watching that have started their academic programs, but they have not completed it because guess what? Life happens sometimes and you didn't finish. I'm also appealing and reaching out to individuals who want a quality, quality accelerated program, accelerated online program. And those same folks, those same individuals, the quality accelerated program that is affordable. CollegeStats.org has deemed Clinton College as one of the affordable colleges in the state of South Carolina. Uh, South Carolina. How about that? So Clinton Global is for you. Uh, right now, our academic programs are centered around religious studies and business administration. And soon there will be more programs that we can introduce to you. So if any of those things appeal to what you're looking for, Clinton Global is for you. Thank you for watching. And if you have any questions about the online program, please place them in the chat box and we'll answer them tonight. Back to you, Dr. Brown. 
Thank you. Thank you so much, Dr. Brown. We are really excited about our global program. And again, if we have some working parents, grandparents, aunts, uncles, and you're watching with your traditional students, listen, come together, learn together. Yes. Right? Yes. Isn't that right, Dr. Brown? Yes. Your child is enrolled in BEAR, which is our 15-week and you are enrolled in our global, which is five weeks. But guess what? You are pushing each other. You are learning together. together. Right? Yes. And so that learn together grows together, right? Yes. And so what could you imagine what a wonderful time that would be, right? You have yes. all the graduates in one household. So we're really excited about our global online program. Thank you so much. We appreciate it. All right. Next week, I, listen, you guys, listen, I'm going to give you all a chance. Go get your paper and pencil, okay? Because I know you all have been waiting. Well, my goodness, all those programs, they have these majors. You can get an associate's, you can get a bachelor's, you can join the choir, you can learn an instrument, you have trio, you have other support services, you um, can go to school uh, through our global program. Well, my goodness, how do I pay for it? Okay, how do I pay for it? Um, Dr. Brown just talked about it. One thing that we're really proud of, if we have, we have kept our service to you, our education, which is delivered to you, we have kept it very affordable. That has been one of the things we have been tabbed for right, nationally, that we are recognized as one of the most affordable colleges around, okay? So you are still getting a quality education, but at a reasonable price. And so our next person, our next guest, and we tease her all the time, she is one of the veteran members of our panel, which is Miss Pamela White. She's the director of our financial aid, and she has been with Clinton for wait for it. I'm pausing. I'm going to get it right. 17. Yes. 17, 17 years. And do you see that smile she has on her face right now? That's the smile she has on for the 15, 16, 17, 18, 19 year, all the time. She is willing and ready to serve you. So again, uh, students, if your adult is not in the room yet and you want to run and get them, go do that right now because we know that financial aid often requires signature from parents. We want to make sure they get this vital information as well. Okay. So we're going to turn it over to one of the best in the business, Ms. Pamela White, Director of Financial Aid. Thank you so much, Dr. Brown, for that wonderful introduction. Good evening, everyone. I am so excited that you all are here and have joined us tonight just to learn more about Clinton College and what we offer. And yes, we are affordable, but you know, affordability when you have zero dollars to pay for anything is, is very expensive. So one of the things that you have to do in order to see what you qualify for in financial aid is to complete the application process. So in order to complete the free application for federal student aid, you do have to go to the website in order to get to the application. And so across the screen, you will see the website that you can go to. And Dr. Brown did ask you to get a pen and paper. So you can probably take a picture if you don't have a pen and paper, or you can write it down. It's fafsa.gov. And also when you're filling out the FAFSA, you do have to put the, stu the school code in order for the school, the institution to get your information. So our school code is 004923. So that's your first step in seeing what you qualify for in Pell Grant and direct student loan, which will help you and assist you into paying for your college education because your college education is going to be one of the largest investments that you're going to invest in yourself uh, one of the largest purchases that you're going to make in your lifetime. Um, but however, it is a very, very good investment. But you do want to see what you qualify for in Pell Grants, which you don't have to pay back, um, and direct student loans, but you do have to pay those back. And sometimes, you know, we just do need that extra assistance uh, in order to pay for the affordable college tuition that Clinton College offers. So 
Again, the website is going across the screen and also my information will be on the screen. If you should run into any problems, you have questions about the FAFSA, the process, um, because a lot of times when you know you get to a question, you just may not know the answer to it. So please, please, please uh, feel free to contact me, py at clintoncollege.edu, and I'll be more than happy to assist you in any way that I can. So hopefully, if you have any questions, you will ask them, and we'll be more than happy to answer your questions for you. Thank you so much, Dr. Brown. Ms. White, we do appreciate that. Again, really what I hope that our viewing audience sees is that with each of our staff members, how dedicated they are, how excited they are to even talk about Clinton, how uh, excited they are to, to, to share how you can reach them. You saw that going across the screen. They absolutely, we absolutely are here to serve you. So we want to say thank you again to, to Miss White. Don't forget, guys, that chat box is open. It is open. You will see uh, information scrolling across the bottom right here. You can leave comments, leave your questions. If you just want to shout out and let us know that you are on here, we certainly want to hear from you. Now, I know you've heard all of these wonderful things and you said, well, now Miss White told me how I can get funding for that. But we want to loop back around to Mr. Uh, Cedric Singletary, the director of admissions. He's going to actually just kind of really peel back the layers of the application process. Where do I even go apply? What do I need, Mr. Singletary? I heard something about a transcript, but could you clear that <laughs> clear that up for us? How do I get into Clinton? Absolutely. Great question. And so, um, and that's exactly right, Dr. Brown. We've heard from academics and we've heard from our financial aid and trio. So the next step is submitting that online application. And that online application can be found on our website, www.clintoncollege.edu. That address again, www.clintoncollege.edu. And you can see that address at the bottom of the screen. It all starts there. Once you go to our website, you will see a button or a link that says apply today. You click there and it will take you to the housing page for our two learning platforms. That is the Bear Learning, which is our 15 uh, week program for traditional students. And then we have the Clinton Global Learning Platform that Dr. Glenda Brown talked about just a few minutes ago, which is that five week intensive program. That five week intensive program houses two, uh, um, two programs and that is religious studies as well as business administration. So it starts by submitting those applications there. Once your application is submitted, we will be reviewed by one of the admission counselors and to uh, provide you with acceptance, you must submit your official high school transcript. So we can accept you provisionally with an unofficial transcript, but in order to complete the enrollment process, we must have your official high school transcript as well as your immunization records. Some students, like we said earlier, may not have you know, their official high school transcript or they may not have their high school diploma because they completed a GED equivalency program. We can accept you with that GED equivalency program. So you can either submit that high school transcript or a college transcript if you're transferring or you can submit your GED information and we can get you started. Remember, we are no longer re requiring your SAT or your ACT scores or your GPA for enrollment. So it's simple, www.clintoncollege.edu, submit your application and you will be hearing from us in a few, a few days. Wonderful. Thank you, Dr. Brown. Thank you so much, Mr. Singletary. I appreciate that. Guys, listen, I just want to make sure you heard what Mr. Singletary said. No, there was nothing wrong with your device. There was no static. You heard him correctly. 
Clinton does not require an SAT or an ACT score, and we do not require minimum GPA. Let me tell you what we do require, desire. You have to have the desire to complete your college education. And once you do that, we can meet you where you are. Okay, guys, we completely want to make sure that that would not be a barrier for anyone getting their college degree. Okay, so that SAT and that ACT, we don't want you to think that that's going to stop you. All right. It will not stop you at Clinton College. You just simply have to have the desire. If you have the desire, we have the intelligence, we have the pathway to get you from point A to Z, okay? From that front door to graduation, all right? We will be with you every single step of the way. I wanna right now just kind of open it up for questions. Hey guys, don't forget our chat box is open. But I want to get our president to jump back in here. He took time to be with us, and we're going to take advantage of his wisdom. And I'm going to ask the, the, the president, uh, what would you say to, to students right now, you know, who are trying to make this uh, decision? Where do I go? You know, what, what choice uh, is best for me? And in particularly, Dr. McCorn, you've been such a voice amidst our HBCUs. Why do HBCUs, why are they so important? The difference that they make other than any other institution. Thank you, Dr. Brown. Well, I think the main difference is that you are us. Uh, yeah. You're not other, you're not you know, a number. You really are part of us. One, you get personal attention. Your, your faculty and staff and even your president know who you are. Uh, we can put a face with a name and we really have an interest in your well-being, but also because you are us um, in a very real sense that we've been where you are. Uh, I, I always give the testimony of how I got to college on a wing and a prayer. I was very poor, I was actually homeless in high school, and uh, I thank God for an HBCU that gave me a chance. Uh, Morehouse College literally changed my life, and we think that we do that for our students. We have outstanding alums who also have powerful testimonies. The senior bishop of the AME Zion Church, Bishop George Battle Jr., tells a story of how he came to Rock Hill, South Carolina from Rocky Mount, North Carolina with one bag. He said he basically had a, a garbage bag with all of his possessions in it. And he rose to be one of the most prominent clergymen in Charlotte, North Carolina, chair of the school board, uh, in Charlotte, and then the senior bishop of the AME Zion Church, all because he came to Clinton College. There are many other stories like that, and that really is what HBCUs do, because you are us and we are you. I love that, Prez. I don't think I've heard that. I love that. We are us, and and what was it you said? We are us? You, you are us, and we are you. And we are you. That I mean, that sums it up, guys. That really is the HBCU experience. You're being taught by people that have walked in your shoes. They literally, they're not giving you information that they've read from a book about life experiences. They have been where you are and they're, they are where you're trying to get to. Thank you so much, Prez, for those words of wisdom. I want to go real quick to Trio. Trio. Miss Duckett, is there an application to 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 apply for Trio or exactly how do we um how do I get involved in that to make sure I'm included that number? Yes, ma'am. There is an application to apply for Trio. Um, there is an application you can actually print out on the college website at www.clintoncollege.edu or you can email me and we can actually send you the link to our uh, virtual applications. Uh, my email is should be scrolling, yep, scrolling across the bottom, aducket at clintoncollege.edu. So either way, we have, we have you covered, as I say all the time. So you can do the print, printable application or you can send me an email, I can send you the link to our other application. Right. And Ms. Duckett, if you don't fall within TRIO, is there another way that they can get assistance just overall from the Academic Support Service Center? Yes, ma'am. You said if they're not in TRIO? 
they're not if they don't qualify for trio. Mm -hmm. Yes, ma'am. Through the Beacon Academic Success Center, uh, my boss, Ms. Judith Cowan, and then the academic success coach is Coach Blair. So you mm -hmm. can actually find information about the Beacon Academic Success Center on the website as well. As I mentioned before, if you are not eligible for TRIO, the Beacon Academic Success Center does offer very similar services uh, with the tutoring, uh, scholarship opportunities, financial aid assistance. So definitely check our website at www.clintoncollege.edu. All right, guys, you see her information is scrolling around, scrolling right at the bottom there. And I love what they say over at the Academic Success Center. We got your back. In other words, they're saying they got you. OK, we will not let you slip through those cracks. Miss Hicks, Miss Hicks, I am just getting out of high school. And listen, I'm used to going to my small high school, just walking to school with my friends. I'm a little nervous about coming to college and I get to Clinton College campus and I'm I'm still struggling with homesickness and things like that. Can I come to to your office and 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 you kind of help me through that through that homesickness and you know and even though we're not coming back to campus it's just the fact even now where we're offering remote learning maybe there's a little anxiety with me even delving into that piece by myself, you know. It's a lot different from from high school. Could you help how would you help a student kind of work through that with your services? Thank you, Dr. Brown. That is so important because we do have lots of students that are coming for the first time uh, to college and not understanding and not knowing what to expect. The first thing that we would do, we would just talk about some of the concerns, the feelings that they have, some of the experiences that they are experiencing on campus that's not favorable. Then we would try to connect them with some of the peers that we felt would be favorable for those particular students so that they can get involved with some of the community activities and some of the services that are provided on campus. We would also talk to those students about it's okay. This is a normal feeling that this is your first year and that you're away from home, you're away from your parents, you're away from your friends, and talk about how to establish new friendships, how to establish a rapport with your professors, and provide any other services that we feel will be helpful to that particular student. So we'll make sure that that student is well equipped in terms of knowing uh, the community resources, which are very helpful for those students, because a lot of times they come to campus and not knowing where a primary physician to make those students feel very comfortable in their journey and endeavor at Clinton. Back to you, Dr. Brown. Thank you so much. And guys, I want to remind you, like, like our president said, although we are learning remotely this semester and also our spring semester, all these great services that you are hearing about, they are still available virtually. We are adapting to be able to serve you virtually, okay? I don't want you to forget that, all right? Um, next, I wanna ask Miss White. Miss White, DK, can we pull Miss White right up real quick? Miss White, listen, Miss White. We always hear about the student that said, listen, I got to that FAFSA and I forgot my password. What do they need to do? <laughs> what, do, they need to do Ms. what do they need to do, Ms. White? <laughs> Very good question, Dr. Brown, because it does happen. Uh, believe it or not, that is one of the most challenging things that I have seen in the financial aid office over the years. It's not the, the FAFSA itself. It's always the password or it's the username. Um, if you ever run into that problem and you find yourself getting locked out of your account, what you have to do is you will have to contact Federal Student Aid. And on the website, there will be a number that you can contact and you can call them and they will, um, they will unlock your account for you. They may have to go through a series of questions just to verify your identity to make sure that it's you. Um, there isn't anything that, you know, the, your financial aid office can, you know, do there's not anything that the financial aid office can do for you, but you would have to contact federal student aid. That's a great question, Dr. Brown, because that happens a, a lot. I know that's one of the things that they expect you to <laughs> fix it, but we're just hoping you guys got to keep up with those passwords. Like all yeah. the other passwords, you got to keep up with that. 
One other question, Ms. White, uh, just an important date that I know just passed for us, which was in your world of financial aid, October 1st. Yes, October 1st was the opening for the uh, free application for federal student aid, the FAFSA for the school year of 2021-2022. Okay, so it's open now. You can go on there and you can complete the FAFSA. However, if there's some students out there that may already be out of high school and you are looking to come into the spring, once you go access the FAFSA application, make sure you change the school year because it automatically goes to the 2021-2022 school year. So you just have to click on um, you know, the down arrow to choose this year, which is 2020, 2021. Thank you so much. We appreciate that. That's important, guys. October 1, you see, you see our school code. You can see our school code is scroll, scrolling right down at the bottom right there, okay? Uh, I will say to you that we have that link. It's embedded right in the uh, information that's on our website. If you go to our website, we have a financial aid tab, and all you have to do is click. It'll bring you right to the FAFSA. There are a couple of them out there. We don't want you to get confused and make sure you get to the right one, okay? All right. Dr. Glenda Brown, um, let's just chat with you a little bit more. And guys, don't forget, our chat is open. It is open right now. Dr. Brown, do we have to come to campus at all for your global online program? Do we have to come at all? What a wonderful question. With the online program, Clinton Global, you will never, ever, 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 did I say never, ever, have to come on campus. However, after the global pandemic has subsided and we are all back on campus, we would love to, uh, and that's not something that is uh, conditional. So uh, right now, as you're are going to be an online student because we are just we're trusting and believing that you're going to apply today online that you'll never have to come on campus to take a course thank you dr brown good question thank you and and dr mcglam we didn't forget about you dr mcglam we know you started us off so we didn't forget about you where's doctor there he is right there dr mcglam you talked about associates and bachelors and i know a lot of times maybe for our um non-traditional they may understand that but for our traditional viewers that are out there if you could just talk a little bit about the difference between associates and bachelors um and the fact that clinton we offer both we offer both of those if you'll just touch on that okay thank you hello to uh, dr brown uh we have the two programs as i said earlier associate and bachelors associate really means that you just uh you go for two years uh, and you earn a degree, and it is a two-year degree. Uh, the number of hours required for an associate's degree is uh, 64 hours. Uh, for a bachelor's degree, it's 120 hours. And so literally you'll be going two years or the equivalent of uh, four semesters for an associate's degree. And for a bachelor's degree, it would of course take four years or eight semesters uh, to earn a bachelor's. And so that's really the main difference uh, between the two. Uh, and it is uh, most college or some colleges don't offer the associates. Uh, if you're just looking to get a, a short term degree or, uh, you know, just to get an initial degree, uh, you can get that. But uh, also uh, the associate degree program will enable you if you want it to uh, to maybe move on and, and get into another area. You can also use that associate's degree uh, uh, to get into another area of, of study as well. So we have both those degrees that we offer uh, and they are offered online. And the associate's degree, of course, is uh, our, uh, online, um, our online program. I'm sorry, those two were on ground, but then of course we have the online as well. So uh, that's the main difference, Dr. Brown. Good. Thank you so much. I hope you guys heard that. You can get your uh, associates and bachelors in religious studies and business on our global. And then Dr. McLam gave you the array of majors in terms of our bachelors and associates uh, on ground or right now what we're calling our bare learning remotely. Uh, we feel like, again, we would be a right fit for anyone who has the desire to excel in your chosen field of study. 
so we hope that you will go to our website and look at those majors. We're just waiting on you to get here. Uh, Dr. McNeil, I did not forget about you, Dr. McNeil. Where is Dr. McNeil? Because we definitely have a question for Dr. McNeil. Dr. McNeil, I've been wanting to find out about, you mentioned about trying out. Well, if we're doing it remotely, exactly how would I get my, my tape or video uh, to you? If you could just talk a little bit about more about that. And you mentioned, Dr. McNeil, that you have traditional and non-traditional and some faculty Thing, which I think is is awesome. And if y'all haven't heard our choir, you are in for a treat. Uh, and also, Dr. McLean, if you would just touch a little bit about the um, experience that you had with the tour, the, the, the oh, yeah. tour that we went. Yeah. Ooh, you're giving me a lot, but I don't mind talking. Um, first of all, um, everybody that um, is interested in be becoming a part of the Clinton College Choir, we'll have to uh, do a voice placement. Um, that's what we call it uh, in lieu of an audition. It is an audition, but we, we use the terminology voice placement. And it's a time where we set up and currently we're doing them virtually. Um, it's a one-on-one -on -one time with me and it's an opportunity for me to uh, test your range. I wanna see how high, how low you can sing um, your ability to match pitch, your ability to retain pitch and give pitch back to me. And there's some other vocal exercises that I, um, I try to incorporate just to give me an idea of the versatility and dexterity of your voice. Uh, again, uh, if you don't have any experience singing or if you've had some experience singing, singing in your high school choir, community choir or church choir, regardless of your experience level, we welcome you to audition for the choir. And again, there are scholarship opportunities that are available for promising, promising students um, and students who show potential. So um, think about singing, think about playing in the band uh, or being a part of our drum line or, be, do, or doing something with whatever artistic gift that you have. We'll find a place for it. Um, Dr. Brown alluded to the fact that uh, last semester, uh, we went on a concert tour, a recruitment tour uh, with our choir and uh, went uh, up north to, uh, oh, wow, where did we go? To New Jersey, New York, um, Baltimore, Washington, D.C. Uh, were some of the places where the choir uh, had a chance to sing in some of the high schools and in some of the AME Zion churches uh, for which our school is affiliated. So we welcome uh, you to set up your virtual audition or your virtual voice placement or instrumental um, placement uh, with me by setting that up, by emailing me or calling me and setting up a time for us to get together and, uh, and I get to hear you sing or play. So thank you, Dr. Brown, and I look forward to hearing from any of our future Golden Bears about how they can be involved in our music department. We'd love yes. to have them. Yes, yes, you guys send it in. Listen, you can see his email is going across the screen right now, tmcneil at clearncollege.edu. I'm gonna call Dr. McNeil tomorrow and I want him to say, Dr. Brown, my email was so <laughs> with oh, yes. voice auditions. See, he's already teaching. He is already teaching. It's not mm -hmm. auditions. He talked about a voice testing. So send it in, send it in. All right, guys, we've come to the end of a wonderful, wonderful night. I'm going to ask our great technician behind the scenes, DK, if he'll put everybody on the screen. And what we always do, we close uh, our open houses and our events. You know, we close them out. We're just kind of going around saying what we love about college. We go around and we just uh, want to leave the last good word with you. Okay. This is for you. And again, guess what? That chat box is still open. We're going to keep it open to the very last minute. If you want to shout us out. Okay, if you have a question, I'm going to keep my eye on it. But I want you also to hear the final words 
of our outstanding, committed, wonderful staff as they just share with you uh, what they love about Clinton and why we can't wait for you to get here. And we're gonna start off with Dr. McLean. Oh, wow. Uh, thank you, uh, Dr. Brown, again. I think the one word that I would use to describe Clinton is family. Uh, when you come here, you are part of the Clinton family. Uh, we embrace you uh, as a brother or sister, uh, just like if you were at home. And that's really, to me, one of the great things about Clinton is we are a close-knit group. Uh, we would love to have you here, love you to be a part of, of the family and just be a part of Clinton. Uh, it, it is a family unit and we would love to have you to be a part of it. Great. Thank you so very much. All right, we're gonna go to Ms. Beckett. What I love the most about Clinton College is the fact that it motivates you to be the best you. So we hope that you choose Clinton so that we can assist you with your academic and personal goals. All right, wonderful. Dr. McNeil, and then we're gonna to go to Ms. Hicks. Sorry, uh, I have to um, uh, continue what Dr. McLam was talking about is the uh, the intimacy mm -hmm. and the one-on-one -on -one attention that you get in all of your classes um, and the fact that people will know you by name um, mm -hmm. and will be able to help you both inside the classroom and outside of the classroom. We are a very close family. Mm -hmm. So I hope you will choose us. Yes, thank you so much. Ms. Hicks? And then we'll go to Mr. Singletary. Thank you, Dr. Brown. The words, the word that I would like to use is dedication. I think the staff, I think the um, are very dedicated, wanting to make sure that our students are striving for excellence without excuse. We're very dedicated and wanting to make sure our students are getting the services that they need at Clinton College. Thank you, Ms. Hicks. Mr. Singletary, and then we'll go to Dr. Brown. Uh, I would have to say that uh, I would sum it up with opportunity, and that's simply because of the opportunity that we provide all of our students. Um, I remember meeting a young man who was overwhelmed with all of the no's that he had received. And as he sat in my office and I was able to give him that yes, I saw a light then come on into his eyes. And so I love the opportunity that we provide all of our students. Wonderful, thank you. We go to Dr. Brown and then Ms. White. And then the last word goes to our friends. <laughs> what I like is that the core of Clinton College is God and God's business, and they are fundamental. That's what's dear to me. Yeah, oh, wonderful, wonderful, wonderful. Ms. White. Dr. Um, McLam took my word, which was family. Because <laughs> we are family. <laughs> we are family. You know, we laugh, we, we laugh together, we cry together, and sometimes we even fuss and fight. But at the end of the day, we are still a family. So that's the thing that I love most about Clinton College, and everybody knows everybody. And that's so important that, you know, people know who you are. And that's what we take pride in is knowing who each and every student is. So, yeah. Thanks, Dr. Thank you so much. And I want to make sure that we give the president the last word. So I'm like you, Miss White. Mr. Singletary took my word. He stole it right from underneath me. And I was saying, uh-oh. But you know what just came to me? And, and, I, and if you just bear with me, the word that came to me was push. And I say that because... Every single person that you heard from tonight is committed to pushing you to be your best, right? We are pushing you in the right direction. We're pushing you past challenges. We're pushing you towards opportunity. We're pushing you towards graduation, okay? And so that's the word I came up with. And if you have a checklist tonight, if you have a checklist tonight about what your college looks like, I just want to run down one more time what our list is family, motivated, one-on-one, -on -one, dedicated opportunity and pushing you 
through to graduation, okay? So we're gonna leave this broadcast with a final word from our fearless leader, Dr. Lester A. McCorn. Thank you, Dr. Brown. And thank the team, uh, all of you. Uh, I'm so proud to work with such a gifted, talented, and dedicated team. Uh, and so my word is community. Um, I'm, a, I'm a Martin Luther King scholar. He's been my hero my whole life. And Dr. King was striving for what he called the beloved community. It's not just an abstract idea that's far away, but it's real. And we have to work hard to create community. And I think that's what Clinton College has, has uh, really done well, is to build that community. So all the words that were shared really point to that idea of a beloved community. In the Afrocentric sense, a community is a village, right? You've heard the term, it takes a village to raise a child. None of us has gotten here on our own. There's another wonderful Swahili word, uh, a Zulu word, sawabona, which means I see you. Uh, you. You are important. I see you for who you are. And then finally, the great word Ubuntu, which means I am because we are, and since we are, therefore I am. We are all connected one to another. So thank you for taking a peek at Clinton College. Hopefully you have been inspired and motivated to reach your dreams, to know that today in the midst of COVID-19, you might feel a little down, a little isolated and separated, but know that there is a community waiting for you known as Clinton College. We wish the best for you and we are here to serve you as you make your decision about your next steps. Thanks everybody for joining us. Have a great night.